Hello everybody. This has been a long time. Um, I've uh, The last beer review I did was in July sometime, the end of July. We're now at the end of December. In fact, it's the 31st of December tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, I've just been very, very busy with things and, and I've had requests, one or two, saying when are you going to do more reviews. So here I am. I've got a, um, a number of beers for Christmas, including the one I'm going to do tonight. A uh, special request from my good friend Big Jim Boski, so Jim, this one's for you, um, to do a review. So here I am. And I've got a few more beers as well that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do. They're going to be more few and far between, I would have thought, because I used to do a beer review every other night. Sometimes, you know, quite a number of nights running. Um, so this is number 70 something. Uh, I had four Dale side beers. I said they were the last ones I did in, in a row. Um, I did three and then drunk the fourth one without reviewing it. So even though I say four, there's only going to be, there's, you'll notice there's only been three. And obviously I took a break and did the Samuel Smith's Imperial Stout, if, you, if you've looked that far back a few reviews ago. Um, so yeah, the space between the last view and this review and this one is five months, thereabouts. So uh, yeah, so here we are again. Um, what I'm going to do tonight, and I've moved house as well. I don't, it doesn't look that much different on camera because I've got a play in background. My wife is eight months pregnant, and <laughs> yes, we are moving on in life. Um, so uh, there's going to be even less time for beer reviews once uh, the little sprog hits the earth. Um, yeah, so it's going to be fun. Very, very fun. I mean that, even though I don't sound like it, I'm very, very tired. <laughs> uh, yeah, right on. On with the beer review. Um, I've since been to Belgium as well. I picked up loads of beer from Belgium and you'll be heartbroken to know I drunk every single last one without reviewing a single one because I just didn't have time I thought sod it I'm just going to relax and enjoy it however and I've got one or two glasses I'm sure you'll see those in the future I have my trusty Belgium finest beers bottle opener which I'm going <laughs> to use tonight plus my Belgium beers t-shirt which you can probably see you're fiddling with a tripod there and there we go look she's uh, panning down Belgium beers once at the top, you'll never stop. <laughs> I've since decided Germany's better, but that's beside the point. Um, <laughs> well, different, not better. That's a, that's a really one for another night. Um, I don't think there's much more to say other than the beer. So, yeah, people who are just watching this for the first time and never seen any of my reviews before will be like, get on with it, do the beer. And everybody else who's seen my reviews before wonder what the hell's happened. That was for them. So here we are, beer. Triple Carmelite. This is a fantastic beer. I've had it maybe twice, but at least once in the past. Um, it's a triple from Belgium. Um, three grain, part of the description on the back is blonde, robust, smooth and fruity three grain beer. It's 8.4% on the ABV and it's won several awards including the uh, world's best ale at the World Beer Awards in 19, sorry, 1998, 2008. Um, various other ones. I'll show you the label. It's a very, very, very nice uh, artistic label. Um, hopefully it's sharp enough, you can see that properly. Yep, yeah. fantastic. Um, I was going to look up some of the history and give you a bit of that, but it seems I've bored you with a bit of a story to start with, I'll just get on with it. If you want to find out what Triple Calm Leap means and have the history behind the beer, then feel free to look it up. I'm not going to bore you. Right, it's uh, obviously a bottle conditioned beer, there's quite a lot of sediment in this. I remember having it at a bar and it was just full of floaters. I think that's probably because they stored it on its side or something, I don't know. But um, yeah, anyway, recommended serving temperatures between 6 and 9 degrees, so it's, it's cool, it's by no means chilled. Mm. And um, yeah, it's uh, as it's bottle conditioned, final fermentation in the bottle, there's obviously sediment, like I said, so I'm not going to pour halves, you know, like I quite often do to taste and then whatever. I'm just going to pour the whole lot in, otherwise it'll disturb the sediment and then the next pour for the second half will be full of floaters. There's the bottle cap. Not that the yeast bad for you, it's just not you want a nice clear beer usually. See that okay? Right, fantastic. Shoot a glass, golden draft, never fails. Let's get it out. So it's gonna have a bit of a head on it, I can tell you that fact. Oh let me just stop right there, because I've only poured like a tiny puddle. <laughs> Dog hair. And already, take my hand right in my beer, I have an Eddie hair. <laughs> Thanks Eddie. His hair has grown longer since uh, I did the last review. 
wife's scowl at me because I've just wiped on the surf around. <laughs> so I'm probably going to get some sediment in there now. Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> Those of you who watched my reviews before will be familiar with Eddie. Right, there we go. Left a bit in the bowl. As you can see, it's a glorious looking bit, and I've got it pretty clear. It's a bit hazy anyway, but there's no floaty bits, so that's good. Plenty of carbonation, slightly cloudy uh, appearance. It's uh, not 100% see through. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cloudy when you get up close. And as you can see, it's a nice straw yellow. Nice, quite a loose, soapy looking head. It's going down quite quickly. That's probably something to do with the fact it's 8.4% strength. But yeah, it's, it's bright white. You getting a good view of that? In the glass, there you go. Right, so appearance then, it's very much like Duval, um, only cloudier. Uh, it's uh, fantastic looking, to be honest with you. I'm looking forward to that. Let's have a smell. It's quite, it's very grainy. It's quite hard to smell through that head, to be honest. I might have to take two on that and have a swig and then go in for the smell. Yeah, it's, it's slightly sweet and a bit grainy. Um, I, can, I can't really, to be fair, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I can't really get much from the smell I get. That's because I've got like only two inches of head. Without further ado, cheers. Like I said, Jim Boski, for you, my friend. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes better than I remember. Perhaps because I've had it in good condition this time. Right. It is smooth. Despite all those bubbles, and you can see them, lots of them, um, it is smooth. You get a smooth feeling on your tongue straight away. You get like a, a warming sweetness, and that booze is there straight away. Make no mistake. It's not blow your head off. I mean, it's 8.4, but you can feel it. You feel a bit fumy afterwards. Um, very warming, very nice. Um, let me just go in for another one. It is quite fruity. It's not an overpowering smell, a smell, taste, and um, there's also a little bit of a savoury edge that coats your tongue. It doesn't taste savoury, but it's, you get the sweetness, but it doesn't linger too much. It's not sickly sweet, it's just balanced. But slightly more, not 100% balanced, it's slightly more sweet than savoury, but it's, it's fairly balanced. You don't get a lot of hot bitterness, which I thought you might do from a triple. Um, but there's definitely a bit of a twang there. A little bit citrusy. Um, it's sweet and fruity. It's hard to put your finger on what fruit it is, because it's not a fruit that you can taste, it just tastes fruity, it tastes full of vibrance. <laughs> yes, <laughs> what, a better, what a better word. It's, uh... yes, gassy, it's quite gassy. Um... <laughs> Always taste your bird, very nice. Smooth, slightly sweet, it's almost honeyed in its sweetness. It's not sickly, it's like a honey citrusy sort of palette. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. It's quite nice. Yeah, five months, I'm a bit out of, pra bit out of practice with the old uh, reviewing technique. I'll have to refine myself. But uh, that's pretty much what I've said. It's, it's slightly carbonated, but it's, it's smooth and you can feel the smoothness on your tongue. Um, a bit citrusy, tiny bit hoppy, not very malty. Um, the graininess is more in the smell than the taste. It's really full bodied without being too rich. It's um, it's quite easy drinking actually for 8.4. You want to go easy because I could quite easily just sit and swig that. I don't know, it'll come back to bite. Hmm. Um. Yeah. So it's a very very pleasant beer indeed. Um, one of the nicest triples I've had to be fair. It's it's similar to Chimay White Label, which is their triple. Um, similar strength as well. So yeah, there you go, triple Carmelite. Triple Cavalite. <laughs> Finest Belgium triple. Yep. So, well, thank you for tuning in again, and there'll be more to come. I've got a, a few German ones lined up. Um, so, yeah. Cheers, folks. Happy New Year. <laughs>